It has been decades since smart wearables came to our lives, but still most of them just a tool to record data rather than being truly helpful or smart. Huawei devices, however, they not only can track your daily routine, but also really analyze all the data, then give you professional advice to help you understand yourself and what you should do. The technology behind it, the TrueSense system, is really amazing. Now, Huawei has finally decided to reveal the next generation TrueSense technology. It could be a revolutionary one. The best thing is that we got invited to the event here and you also get to see them before anybody else. But if it's just an event, it's not that uh, interesting. We want to know more about how they did it. So stick to the end of the video, you will get more insights too. Anyway, let's go to the event first. So as you can see, it has been quite some time since Huawei started the uh, TrueSense system development and now it marks another important milestone in this long process. The TrueSense system in a nutshell is a complete package of true cutting-edge hardware, ever-evolving software, big amount of data from real testers, and deep collaboration with the hospitals, organizations, and third-party apps. As a long-term smartwatch user, I honestly have not seen a system like this with such complex and advanced features. To name a few highlights, first, we all know that smartwatches can monitor regular health data, but people with chronic diseases like uh, hypertension should measure their blood pressure at least two times a day. But it is actually not enough. With the device on your wrist carrying the TrueSense system, people who suffer from hypertension can have a device to monitor the fluctuation of their blood pressure anytime. They could get a warning before anything bad happens, or for the long run, more data means people will have a better understanding of their body and perhaps get better treatment at the right time. You can see the speaker told a story about how the Huawei smart wearables saved a life by detecting unusual heartbeats in a person. So for everyone, if a device can monitor all the data throughout the day, sometimes you can get a health glance report of 13 health data items in 60 seconds. This is so precious. Underneath the system, there's the uh, super sensing module with a multi-region optical path design, which can really elevate the accuracy and speed of the data tracking. What does it mean anyway? We all know that there are sensors built into the smart wearables, but sometimes the data collected will not be that comprehensive or accurate due to the uh, build quality of the device, various environments people are in, the intensity of the activities, or different races. And the new products with TrueSense, which will be released in September, will be able to improve the heart rate accuracy by 98% in running, speed increase by 40%, Imagine how it will help you when the data from a smart wearable is as accurate as a medical grade device. You can have the results anytime, anywhere, therefore reducing the risks of something bad happening or pushing the boundary of your performance in sports. Now the Huawei devices have the best capability in health tracking, still it takes a lot of data to optimize the software. That's why it opens the system to all the professional organizations and real testers. You can see that it has been working with the professors specializing in blood pressure study and the University of Lisbon. They are among the ones that have been working closely with Huawei and have achieved significant results. So I think we have a lot more exciting news to come. So the tech release this time is uh, awesome, but there are still some questions in my mind, mainly about how do they track and unify all the data? How do they analyze the data and give uh, professional reports? Most importantly, are the stats accurate and reliable? Now, since we are in Huawei's place, I wanted to see if me, as a uh, semi-pro sportsman, maybe I can uh, visit their lab and they use me as a tester. They get another real person to do the test on. I get a peek of the equipment and stuff there. A win-win deal. If not, then uh, I just wasted the uh, new sportswear I just bought. Anyhow, let's try that guy there, see if we can get in. Wow, this is massive. There are many test zones around the track, such as the uh, exercise psychology research zone, swimming research zone, golf research zone, 
ping pong research zone, rock climbing zone, and there's even an altitude simulation chamber. It's like a real gym, but with more specialized testing equipment. All data needed for Huawei's sport tracking algorithms come from here. The way how it works is that uh, testers wear the Huawei smart wearables with the professional devices at the side. They take on the test, then specialists compare the data between the devices, optimize the algorithms after every session to make the Huawei device better and better. So this lab contributes a lot to the TrueSense system development, and I think Huawei invited us here because they are very confident in the sports tracking tech. Am I like a warrior from the future or what? You can see how excited I was at the time. This is because the exercise psychology test is the most interesting test program for me. It takes a lot of specialized equipment to perform the test, such as the metabolic cart, heart rate monitor band, and professional treadmill. The person next to me was the lab specialist who helped me to accurately track the data, including maximum oxygen uptake, calorie consumption, and heart rate. With the data from me and many testers, they are constantly upgrading the algorithm to ensure that the Huawei smart wearable products with the TrueSense collect the accurate exercise data. Of course, if you're not having enough fun, you can try this extra large multifunctional running platform. It can simulate running, cycling, skiing, and more, and you can reach speed of up to 50 km per hour. Surrounded by motion and posture capture cameras, it can also collect the data of your exercise. Now this is fun, I started off slow and they started to uh, increase the speed and I picked up my pace immediately after that and uh, they tried to increase the, uh, the slope and then I tried to adapt to it. So this is really fun. I feel like I'm uh, running on a professional device and then I try to get to know my uh, running habits and some of the, the stats I, uh, uh, that's in my body. So I think this could be a really uh, good experience if you have the watch on your wrist, and then I think the, uh, the stats will be more accurate than others. The lab has a rock climbing wall covering an area of 156 square meters with more than 10 different routes. You may not know that the muscle movements actually affect the data accuracy when doing rock climbing, since the smartwatch may not be entirely close to your skin at all times. Therefore, it makes it more difficult to detect motions. The new devices with TrueSense will use the multi-region optical path design, which can improve the quality of the motion detection signal by more than 20%. Anyway, that means the detection data is more accurate. I also challenged myself against this wall. Did I uh, reach to the top? Stick to the end, you will know. Now, this is my happy place because I used to shoot thousands and thousands of balls every day, and I still play every weekend. So the fascinating thing about this court is that uh, there are dozens of uh, cameras around this court, uh, specifically 28 cameras, to capture some of the movements of uh, the shooting or the layup and something like that to determine whether you have the best posture or not. And then you can try to you know, change it and uh, to improve yourself. The second thing about this court is that uh, there's a pressure board down there so you can uh, determine whether you have put the uh, uh, right amount of pressure on the board to see if you have a, that, that vertical to uh, do the layup or shoot the ball. And also you can change your posture to see if you have the right thing to do. If you do not, then perhaps you will cause some pain at your back or some of your knees or even your muscles. So. This is the best thing about this uh, court because really you can try to know yourself better and, uh, and this is the meaning of this court. Although I'm good at swimming, this advanced pool with a maximum flow rate of 1.5 meters per second is still too much for me. I could have challenged myself, but let's leave it to the professionals here. The temperature and the speed of the water can be adjusted to simulate swimming in different seasons or even professional training. Just like some other areas in this lab, with the movement sensors and the cameras, they can feed the TrueSense with all kinds of data needed. So devices with TrueSense won't have their data less reliable due to the effect of water flow. That's why this zone exists. Unfortunately, we will not be able to enter the altitude simulation chamber to experience how altitude impacts on human body. However, with the help of the data from the external screen, we could see the changes of the values in this small room. It simulates the altitude environments by changing the temperature, moderation, and air pressure. 
If you are going to high altitude place, your blood oxygen will be low. So your smartwatch needs to be capable enough to detect the change of climate and your health condition fast, then send a warning beforehand. In fact, TrueSense detects blood oxygen 40% faster than its predecessor, alerting you of low blood oxygen in advance of changes in your body to avoid altitude sickness. Have you uh, ever played golf? Fortunately, I got the chance to try it for the first time at the Golf Research Zone. Many smartwatches don't have a golf mode, but Huawei seems to have something special for this sport. Every swing you take generates many data, the force you hit the ball, the body movement, the angles. They said that their engineers used the 30,000 swing data to fine tune the algorithms. Basically, you practice with professional guidance. So far, so good, right? After training, I can play golf well too. I was just kidding. I still have a long way to go. But in the outdoor golf event, I can feel that the Huawei really wants to do this right. I can't talk too much about it so far, but believe me, the surprise will come in September. Alright guys, now I've tried many equipment. I've uh, learned a lot about the health and the sports tracking with the help from so many professionals in this lab. I can say that I'm fully confident about the capability of TrueSense and the Huawei products that are carrying it. If you're looking for smart wearables, definitely check out the products from Huawei in the future. Now, I have one last thing to try. Let's do it. Oh. All right guys, this is the end of the uh, Huawei lab experience. All right, see you next time.